Hello everyone! Welcome back to our channel. And if you are new to our channel, my name is Karen and we are Our Miku Life Stories. video, I will be discussing about the Government of Canada's Immigration Plan for 2021 to 2023. That is to support the economic recovery through immigration. This is good news for all aspiring immigrants in the future. If you are new to this channel, we discuss life in Canada and share information about how you can also come here. If you like the content that we are providing, please consider subscribing to our channel. Hit that like and bell button notification so that you will be notified if we have a new video. The good news that I will be sharing today is not specifically for caregiver, but the General Immigration Plan of Canada for the year 2021 to 2023 and what this means to you as an applicant. Honorable Marco Mendicino, the Minister of Immigration, Refugees, and Citizenship acknowledged that immigration plays a major role toward economic recovery of Canada from the global pandemic. Global travel restrictions and capacity constraints of Immigration, Refugee, and Citizenship Canada led to a shortfall in admission over the last several months on the current year. To compensate for the shortfall and ensure Canada has the workers it needs to fill crucial labor market gaps and remain competitive on the world stage, they planned out this three-year immigration plan. Here are some of the highlights that might be important to you guys. A focus on economic growth with about 60% of admissions to come from economic class. That includes the new caregiver pilot, we are under the economic class. Also, the skilled trade under the express entry program and other provincial and rural nominee program. Continued focus on innovative and community-driven approaches to address diverse labor and demographic needs across the country. A renewed commitment to capacity building and digital transformation in Canada's immigration system to support operations and mitigate the impacts of COVID-19 on the processing of applications. This may suggest a fully electronic application and the abolishment of paper application in which the new caregiver pilot is on. We will know more in the following months to come. It will dramatically increase the processing time if this happens. Additional points for French-speaking candidates under Express Entry to promote the growth of Francophone communities outside Quebec. A commitment to admit up to 500 refugees over the next two years through the Economic Mobility Pathways project. An innovative approach that helps qualified refugees apply for permanent residence through existing economic immigration pathways. Pathway to permanent residency for eligible asylum claimants who were working on the front lines of the pandemic between March 13 and August 14, 2020. Providing direct care to patients in healthcare institutions. Let's go to the numbers. That 2021 to 2023 immigration plan aims to continue welcoming immigrants at a rate of about 1% of the population of Canada, including 401,000 permanent residents in 2021, 411,000 in 2022, and 421,000 in 2023. Previous plan set target of 351,000 on 2021 
and 361,000 in 2022. All in all, that is a total of 1.2 million people. This is the most ambitious immigration plan of Canada. What does this mean for you as an applicant? You can expect increase in the number of express entry invitation, underscaled trades, provincial nominee, and rural nominee program. Probably new pilot programs and hopefully lowering of the CRS score. So this ends my vlog and thank you for staying with me until the end of the video and hopefully this encourages you to pursue your Canadian immigration plan for 2021 and see you all in Canada. God bless. Bye.